So Bloomberg just published uh, a 50 billion parameter large language models that is trained on a wide range of financial data. So how does uh, Bloomberg uh, this model, uh, Bloomberg GPT specifically differs from other language models? Well, uh, Bloomberg GPT is specifically designed for the financial domain. It is trained on a 363 billion token data set based on Bloomberg's extensive data sources, augmented with another 345 billion tokens from general purpose data set. And this mixed data set training leads to a model that outperforms According to this paper, the existing models on financial tasks by a significant margins without sacrificing performance on general LLM benchmarks. And about the usage of this model, Bloomberg GPT can be used in a variety of financial technology applications including sentiment analysis, named entity recognition, a question answering. Uh, and uh, for example, due to financial domain training knowledge, they are able to query Bloomberg GPT for knowledge relevant to the financial world in a wide sense. And also Bloomberg GPT can be used for tasks such as uh, stock price prediction and financial news summarization. And about the 363 billion token dataset that specifically involved knowledge in the financial world. So this data source includes uh, news articles, press release and financial filings by companies. Uh, the, the data set then was pre-processed and tokenized using a unique tokenizer that Bloomberg themselves developed. So about the models tokenization they talk about in this paper as uh, we decided to train our own Unigram tokenizer instead of relying on existing public ones. And on the compute efficiency, the paper says that these findings led us to consider a nearly chinchilla optimal model using a standard architecture. And as you probably know that chinchilla optimal model training is about uh, a smaller models that achieves stronger performance and for which inference can be run much more efficiently than for other large language models. And some of the technical details on the training of this model, they nicely give in this paper. For, for example, the training part, Bloomberg GPT is a PyTorch model trained with a standard left to right causal language modeling objective. Uh, on the optimization, we use the Adam W optimizer. We set beta 1 to 0 0.9, beta 2 to 0 0.95 and weight decay to 0 0.1. We warm up the learning rate in the first 1800 steps following Hoffman et al. The final learning rate is 0 0.1x, the max learning rate. Uh, that is uh, 6e minus 6. That is 0 0.1 of that max learning rate is what they apply. And the model parameters are randomly initialized to samples from a normal distribution with, with zero mean and standard deviation of uh, root over 1 by 3d, which is 0 0.006588. And uh, on the hardware stack, yeah. So they uh, the train uh, they train on a total of 64 P4D to uh, 24x large AWS instance. Each P4D 24x large instance has 8 NVIDIA 40 GB A100 GPU with NVIDIA NVSwitch intra node connections uh, working at 600, 600 GB per second and NVIDIA GPU Direct using AWS Elastic uh, Fabric Adapter inter node connections. Uh, this yields a total of 512 40 GB A100 GPU. That's what they use. And the model uh, also use a mixed precision training to reduce memory requirements. Forward and backward passes are done in BF16, while parameters are stored and updated in full precision FP32. The LEB matrices are computed in full precision and stored in BF16. We also use FP32 to calculate fused softmax in the attention block and store its result in BF16. Finally, the softmax calculation in the loss function are computed in FP32. Now about this BF16 or Bfloat16, this is uh, this was originally developed by Google uh, and also called Brain Floating Point Format. And uh, the name flows from Google Brain, which is an artificial intelligence research group at Google, where the idea for this format was conceived initially. And the original uh, FP16 was not designed with deep learning application in mind. Its dynamic range was too narrow. So Bfloat16 solved that, providing dynamic range identical to that of FP32. And now the most important question, is this model available for public? Simple answer is no, these model weights are not available for public and this is what the paper says. Thus, as is well known, LLMs are susceptible to data leakage attacks and it is possible to extract significant segments of text given model weights 
Moreover, even giving selective access to researchers is not a guarantee that the model cannot be leaked. Without strong privacy guarantees, we must be concerned that providing access to model weights entails giving access to fin pile. For this reason, we are on the side of caution and follow the practice of other LLM developers in not releasing the model. And actually, I think that's understandable because a large portion of the training data comes from Bloomberg's own internal data set, which were, uh, which were collected by them over decades. So I really did not expect this to be publicly available. But anyway, they say that uh, nevertheless, our insights and experiences in training and evaluating Bloomberg GPT contribute to the developing Understanding of this model, in particular, our experience may be useful to these building, to those building their own domain-specific models. During the process of developing Bloomberg GPT, we found that uh, OPT chronicles experiences of Bloom team as well as work of non-open models like GPT-3, Palm, Chinchilla, Galactica, and Gopher to be crucial enablers of our work.